How's it going, guys? It's Gaz here on Full Time Devils. It's transfer deadline day, the most exciting day in the football calendar, and absolutely nothing's happened. In fact, the only thing that's happened is Pep Guardiola's gone to Manchester City, which has massive repercussions on Man United. I'm joined by Ch I don't know called you Chelsea. Then I'm joined by Charlie and Housen. Sorry, mate. Uh, we're here to discuss what's happened this transfer window, and like I say, not a lot for Man United. The only big news today is the manager going to Man City. Charlie, what do you think? Take the mic. Um. Well, on the on Pep going to City, it obviously shows that there's City have got intent to be one of the best clubs in Europe uh, and the world. Um, whereas Manchester United, we've still got Louis Van Gaal, and I'll stand by him while he's still here. But you know, he's not. Uh, Manchester City have got Pep Guardiola. We need if Louis Van Gaal is going to go in the summer, like people are saying, then we've got to get someone like Jose Mourinho. I think this is, as usual, being blown out of all proportion, big time. Uh, by the looks of it, the other 19 teams seem to have thrown a towel in, or at least the fans do anyway, and uh, are just basically wafting City towards the title, the FA Cup, the League Cup, the Charity Shield, the World Club Cup, the European Cup, the World Cup, and the Intergalactic <laughs> Championship against Aliens. So uh, it's a massive coup for City, and it's a, it's a sexy um, superstar name for the Premier League. Uh, you have now got a lot of the top managers in the world managing in the Premier League. Um, it's, it's a big thing for them, but he brings no guarantee of success, as no manager does. Um, for me, there's a lot of question marks and a lot of holes in Pep Guardiola. Now, some people can pick as many holes as, I mean, they like, as they like in that, but for me, there are question marks over him. Um, I don't think he's shown the fight. Uh, I think... The way he left Barcelona, uh, and there's also some question marks over how he's leaving Bayern Munich. I don't get a good feeling about him, and I'm not that bothered that he's not come to United. It is a signal of intent from Manchester City. He is probably the biggest name manager out there, whether that's right or whether that's not. Um, in terms of like, we're obviously in the market for a new manager ourselves, whether that's right now or whether that's in six or eighteen months' time. And, and I was never happy with the, the three options that was on the, the table. That seemed to be the only three anyone was talking about, which was Guardiola, Giggs and Mourinho. And I think you have, to be, you have to be more diligent than that. You have to look further afield. You have to look more in depth. You look at what Pochettino's doing at Spurs. I think he would be a great shout. I think Simeone would be a great shout. And to much ridicule on my behalf, I've said Mark Hughes. I'm not saying he's the perfect man for it, but I think you've just got to look at it. Just look at it and evaluate it without dismissing it. Because... If you look at what some of these managers have achieved, and maybe even Ranieri, in all honesty, because what he's done with Leicester has been fantastic, but you also remember he did a lot with Chelsea before Mourinho came in, and he was got rid of unfairly. Very similar to how Pellegrini has, uh, has lost his job. Because Manchester City could win a treble this season. And what's it going to matter? They've sacked him, essentially, already. I thought he had a contract for another 18 months. They've dismissed him. They brought Pep Guardiola in. What have City got to play for for the rest of this season? What has Pep Guardiola... Oh, sorry, what has Pellegrini got to do now when he's turning up for work every morning for someone else's team? The players, the manager, everybody. This is it's such an, a backwards way about doing business on City's behalf. And, and, and I'm gutted that this is the only talking point. City have blown every transfer news around the world out of the water with this announcement today. This is the big signing that you're going to see all day. So it is what we're talking about. And I don't want to talk about this. I'd rather talk about Manchester United doing right, business. We can do. Bring it over here. But we're not yeah. doing any gas. Oh, we, don't, we don't need to talk about transfers. We can talk about managers or anything like that. I mean, there's loads of stuff going about. Personally, I think on the Pep Guardiola stuff, I think it's worrying for Man United because I do think that we would have been in for him. And I honestly do think he's chosen Man City over Man United. Some people will say that's more of a negative on his part because he didn't fancy a challenge. He wants something easy. He wants something where he's got loads the money to spend to improve what is for me the fourth best squad in the world already um, which may be true but I think it's worrying that Man United maybe don't have the pull that they once did because you would have think a respected manager like Pep Guardiola who's managed a historically brilliant team like Barcelona like Bayern Munich would want to join a team with with, with something that I think we, ha we hold in higher regard than anyone else does, and that's history, and that's tradition. I don't think that managers and players are, are really that bothered about that uh, anymore. But that is a shame, and that is a worry. But we, we talk about Louis van Gaal, and you mentioned, you know, is it going to be six months or 18 months? Um, 
I kind of am getting the th feeling now that even if he is to get top four this season, maybe win an FA Cup, I feel like at the end of this year, this season, he's going to resign. I don't think he'll be sacked. I think he's going to resign. And if you're looking for a replacement for him, you mentioned Pochettino, Housen. I think that's a great shout. You know, he's done a really good job at Spurs. Um, and he did a good job at Southampton, of course. Um, but for me... I do think there is one man who absolutely adores United and people will say, you know, it's not the United philosophy and he's, 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 everything about him is against United and that's Jose Mourinho. I mean, I know that people will always say, you know, uh, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, um, he doesn't produce youth, he doesn't give youth a chance and people will say he spends too much money. People will say he doesn't play necessarily exciting football. I think Jose Mourinho loves Man United so much that he would change his ways and he would change how he is as a manager and he would adhere to, you know, the culture of this club. Um, Charlie, is Jose a name that you'd consider or would you rather see us go for someone else? Well, Jose's definitely a name that I, could, uh, I would consider, but, you know, I'm going to stand by the manager while he's here and if he decides he needs to go or the board decides he needs to go, then I'm going to stand by that decision and I'm going to support whoever comes in to manage Manchester United because I'm... A true fan. Um, now, on on the topic of Mourinho, if that six-page letter that he wrote to the Manchester United board is actually true, then I could see him being Manchester United at uh, Manchester United for the next ten years if he does come. Because I feel like Jose Mourinho, yes, he's managed at Real Madrid, yes, he's managed at Chelsea, but those are two clubs who are actually quite famous for getting rid of their managers pretty quick. He managed to stay four years, I think it was, at Real Madrid, which is a very long period of time. It is, it is. So you look at that and you could, you could wonder whether he will stay at Manchester United for a long period of time. And I feel he would. And I feel he could bring through youth. Um, he could give him a chance. He'd have to change his ways to do it. But he'd do it. And he would be the greatest, uh, a great Manchester United manager. I am disagreeing with the pair of you there on Mourinho. Um, you can only look at his history to predict what he's going to do in the future. And his history dictates that he uses... Um, he uses the starting eleven, and that is all he looks at. The reserves at Chelsea, the reserves everywhere he's gone have just been laid waste to. They might as well close the door at Carrington and tell everyone not to bother coming in because that great tradition of youth that we've got, I think it's now 3,779 games, 78 years succession of having a youth product in our matchday squad would come to an end under Mourinho without a shadow of a doubt. And I don't want to see that. That's a run that you can't just pick up again and start again, is it? I think if you uh, there was a, a table produced at the end of last season which shown where everybody stood in the Premier League in terms of that. I think Newcastle had one or two. Liverpool had four. Manchester City had zero. There was teams in there that had zero academy players, consecutive games. And United are there at nearly 4,000 consecutive games. That comes to an end. But that's not the only reason I don't want Mourinho. The way he leaves clubs, the way he falls out with, <coughs> excuse me, the way he falls out with everybody at the club, and has to move on. To be fair, that's what Lou Van Gaal does. Say, yeah. Lou Van Gaal does do that, um, and I think it's probably a character trait in both of them that they're absolute winners, that they need that sort of thing, uh, and they they end up rubbing people up the wrong way when they don't get absolute um, following from them. But Jose Mourinho has got far more wrong with him as a manager and. As I said, you look to his history about what he's done and that's going to tell you what the future is. He is not going to change himself to fit United. He is not going to last 10 years at Manchester United. He is not going to progress our youth academy. He's going to destroy what Manchester United has brought. And let's not forget, Jose Mourinho was sacked from Chelsea from taking the champions to near relegation form. And that squad, on paper, murders our squad. So how can Jose Mourinho come in he plays the same style of football as Van Gaal, in a way, in that it's negative, supposedly. And if Van Gaal wasn't the United way, how is Jose Mourinho ever going to be the United way? So for me, absolute no on Mourinho. I do think you have to consider him, but I would consider him and dismiss him. I will throw a name at you then. Um, obviously, the big news today uh, at Man City, Guardiola going there. Manuel Pellegrini. Um, it's been a name that I've seen batted about by certain Man United fans today. Personally, I don't think he's done enough to deserve the Man United job. Uh, obviously, I realise that he's done more than David Moyes did to deserve the Man United job. Um, you know, he's won Premier Leagues. But with that squad, 
it's, it's a phenomenal squad. It's an amazing squad, Man City's team. And for me, you should be absolutely dominating English football with that, as I'm very scared that Pep Guardiola will do from now on. Um, but Manuel Pellegrini, what do you think? Honestly, when you just brought that Pellegrini bit up then, I thought you were talking about Manchester City, not Manchester United, because I didn't even I wouldn't even consider Manuel Pellegrini considering the fact that he's managed Manchester City. Now, you know, I it's difficult when you put it that way because it is an amazing squad, but still you have to have someone who's gonna get behind them players and gonna show them good stuff because if any if the papers are anything to go off, Yaya Torre doesn't look like he's the greatest man um ever and he needs some motivation. You know, players like that also people like Sergio Aguero get injured pretty easily. David Silva, you know, he's he can go missing in big games sometimes. Um, but it's nothing for me to talk about Manchester City, the other team in Manchester. I want to really focus on Manchester United, but I don't see that happening at all. Uh, for me, Pellegrini is a no. Uh, I don't think he's done anything of note in the game. Won a title with City. So what? Honestly, so what? Honestly, so what that he won a title with City? City is a, a, a massive squad, massive expense spent on the squad, phenomenal players in there. I would expect people to go and win it. And the title that he did win, I was happy for them because Liverpool didn't win it. Uh, you've, got to, you've also got to think with Manuel Pellegrini, I think you need personality to manage United. And I have seen more personality in carrier bags than I have in Manuel Pellegrini. Let alone that he's managed City. That doesn't matter to me whether he's managed City or not. Uh, it would if it was Liverpool, but not City. Uh, I just don't think Pellegrini's got anything about him, any redeeming factors whatsoever that tells me that he would be man enough to take on Manchester United. It looks like it's too big for Louis van Gaal. It would be astronomically too big for Manuel Pellegrini. Good points, guys. Um, so just to wrap it up there, if we were to get a new manager in the summer, who would it be? No one's mentioned Ryan Giggs yet. Who would you choose as your manager if we actually did replace Louis van Gaal in the summer? Well, I don't feel, I feel that it will happen, but I don't really want it to because I'll stand by him. But if it does, I'm going to have to say Jose Mourinho, same as you, I assume. Uh, I do think we will be looking for a new manager in the summer. Uh, I do think he resigned last week. Uh, and I do think that we are just pulling it out to the end of the season before we do make that change, whether it's on his terms or ours, probably on his. I think we'll allow him that sh <clears throat> should he get into the top four. I don't know who wants to replace him. I don't think there's anybody qualified for this job. Ryan Giggs isn't qualified. Jose Mourinho isn't qualified in all the aspects. Guardiola, for me, wasn't qualified. Pochettino's got his question marks. Simeone, I think he might be a really good shout, but the lack of English and stuff like that, I think, can potentially go against him. I don't know who wants to manage Manchester United, is the bottom answer for me. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, guys, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you're de very sure about who you want to manage Man United. Make sure you get in all the comments. Let us know who you choose as our manager and what do you think about the points the guys have made as well uh, on the names that we have brought up. Get in the comments below. Give this video a share. Give us a subscribe as well. I've been Gaz. That's been Charlie. The one on the end has been Alison. We'll see you in a bit. The transfer window is about to slam closed and at the time we're recording, Manchester United haven't signed any players. But we have been linked to... Felipe Anderson, Seda Mane, John Stones, Neymar, Gareth Bale, Hammers, Rodriguez, Ronaldo, Igalo, Azard, Varan, Niguez, Abamyang, Hummels, Muto, Vidic, Jake Hesketh, Dragovic, Messi, Goethe, Renato Sanchez, Tony Cruz, Levesi, Lukaku, Ricardo Rodriguez, Bentico, Indy, Neves, and Tahith Chong. Sure, you're so, not missing anyone there. 